Hey Explorers, today we're going to do an experiment that demonstrates capillary action, the walking water experiment. Get ready to see water do some amazing tricks as it walks from one glass to another using a couple forces of nature. It's like having your own water acrobat. Are you ready to see water defy gravity? Using only a couple household items, we are going to be able to see capillary action. Let's gather our supplies. For the walking water experiment, the materials you'll need are water, paper towel, seven glasses, and then red, yellow, and blue food coloring. Step one is to line up our seven glasses. We're gonna put them all in a row. You want them right next to each other. And it is going to take a lot of space. The second step is to fill the first, third, fifth, and seventh glasses with water. In order to see the capillary reaction, we're going to add some food coloring so we can watch the water as it moves between glasses. We're going to start by putting 10 drops of red food coloring into our first and seventh glasses. Then we're going to put our 10 drops of yellow food coloring into our third glass. Then we're going to put 10 blue food coloring drops into our fifth glass. I'm just going to give mine a little stir. Next is to get strips of paper towel. I find that select a size work really well because you can make them the size that you need. First, we're going to start by folding one end into a narrow strip. Then we're going to fold that over again and fold it over one more time. Then we're going to tear it off. And what we want our strip to be able to do is sit right between the glasses, but not be up in the air, because that's gonna make the capillary action a little bit slower. So we are going to make six of these in total. So we've got our six strips of paper towel that are going to be draped between our seven glasses. Our next step is to take our first one, we can fold it in half, and we'll just place it between those two glasses, just like that. Then we're going to repeat the steps with the rest of our strips of paper towel. We're going to bridge all of our glasses together. And actually I'm already seeing the red is just making its way right through the paper towel. And the yellow and the red are now dripping into the empty glass, which is really cool. It didn't take any time at all before we saw the capillary action starting. We're watching the water walk from the more full glass to the emptier glasses, and it's just blending all these colors together beautifully. What we're getting to watch is called capillary action, which is a liquid's ability to flow upwards against gravity using narrow tube-like spaces like the tiny absorbent pockets found in paper towel. This is actually the exact same force that allows water to get from a plant's roots up to its leaves. Paper towels and other paper products are made of cellulose, if you want to learn more about cellulose, you can watch our Recycled Seedling Pots episode. Water clings to cellulose tube fibers because of adhesion, which is when two things stick to each other, like paper and glue. Another natural force that is part of capillary reaction is called cohesion, which attracts water droplets to each other. Each water molecule has hydrogen bonds in it, which act like tiny magnets pulling water droplets together, which means that water droplets are attracted to other water droplets and they group together into bodies of water. As one water droplet sticks to the paper towel because of adhesion, it pulls another water droplet with it because of cohesion. Then that droplet of water sticks to the paper towel because of adhesion, and then it pulls another water droplet because of cohesion, and then so on and so on and so on, 
all the way across the paper towel, equalizing out the amounts of water in the full glasses, or at least the glasses that started full, and where they're now balancing out with the glass that was empty and is now filling with water. Adhesion and cohesion working together like this is what makes up capillary action. Science! After about 15 or 20 minutes, you'll notice that the water levels will start to equalize between what was our full glasses and our empty glasses, and now they're all sort of about the same. But now we get to see color blending in action, like the red from our first glass and the yellow from our third glass both went into our second empty glass and are now making orange when combined together. Similarly on this end, red and blue have become purple, and in the middle we get blue and yellow becoming a really cool green. We started with three colors, but now we're getting to watch this really cool walking water rainbow. And there we have it, explorers. We've gotten to observe some quick and colorful science using only household materials. To make sure you don't miss any other fun in the lab, subscribe to Clayton's Exploration Station on YouTube and social media. Plus, for other ways to connect with the team here at the Exploration Station, you can visit our website at explorationstation.net. Now you stay curious out there, explorers. Clayton's Exploration Station.